officially retired as of January 31st, 1988. After uh, 40 years of practicing medicine, never reaching perfection. Babysit for Ali part time. And then uh, I'm gonna do some other work. Clean the house. Cut the grass, fertilize, and cut the grass again. I haven't thought that. Oh, and golf. Sorry. I'm gonna beat Reed. I'm gonna beat Reed and Brent at golf. <laughs> so, how do you guys feel? Fine. We're worried he'll drive us crazy. Hi, <laughs> dog. Because she won't be home. Okay, this is a better question. What are you looking forward to? A better clean house. <laughs> a babysitter for free. Congratulations. Hope you're ready to start your second career as official babysitter. Congratulations, Uncle Warren, <laughs> on wonderful retirement and a second life where now you can have choice of whatever you want to do with your time and hopefully practice golf because you're not going to be able to beat me. So happy retirement, Dad. Um, you're here because of her, and uh, we're here because of you. So thank you for everything, and congratulations. Congratulations, Dad, on your retirement. Um, hopefully you enjoy all the free time and not too much honey-do lists from Mom. Congratulations. Hi Warren, I'm, um, I'm really, really happy for you that you got to retire and um, I'm very proud of you and I wish you many, many more years of um, accom accomplishing a lot more. Okay, see you later. Play pickleball! Congratulations, Warren, and I'll be waiting for you on the pickleball court. Oh, yeah. That's a challenge. Congratulations, Warren. Congratulations. I wrote on your note there that uh, I know you're going to be busy babysitting, playing pickleball, playing golf, and hopefully one day you'll be free. Okay, see you later. Love you. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, I don't know what to say, but I hope I can retire someday, but it's going to be about I know, many years from now.
Congratulations on retirement, Uncle Warren. Yeah. Congratulations, Uncle Warren. Uh, we're so proud of you, and we're just excited for you as you start your um, new life as babysitter, and you know, just being able to do the things that you want to do. Spend the time enjoying your family and your friends, and uh, we wish you the best. We love you. Uncle Warren, we're so happy for you. You've, you've given so many years to so many wonderful people and saving lives and making people's lives better. And there's a Yiddish word. It means it's called mensch, uh, and we always say that you're such a mensch. And a mensch is how do you describe it? A mensch is a good-hearted person. A good-hearted person, but I think it goes beyond that. Like it's yeah. like you're it's like just altruistic and like never never ask for anything in return. And you're such a mensch. So thank you so much for everything that you've done to help us. And I hope you have many years of travel and wonderful things with, with your wife and family. Lord, it's, it's a pleasure to be with you on this very special occasion. Thank you for including me. I'm so happy I met you. I'm so happy that Lori is in this wonderful family. And I wish you all the best and lots of love and happiness in your new second life. Hi, Uncle Warren, thank you so much um, for having us here. We're so happy to be able to celebrate your retirement. Congratulations on that. And thank you from the Oka family for all that you've done throughout our years and making our transition to Hawaii so easy. Um, you've honestly been like a, a Hanai father and Auntie Clara a Hanai mom to us. Um, for the past 10 years. So really appreciate everything you've done. And we look forward to spending more time with you uh, throughout your retirement. Congratulations, Uncle Warren. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! We're so proud of you. We really are. We're gonna we love you. <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done. Absolutely everything. Yeah. We're wishing you an exciting new journey. And, and we're expecting you to come back. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Uncle Warren. We love you. Hey, Warren. Congratulations on your retirement. I hope you have a really good time, and I hope you get really good at football. But um, anyway, I'm sure after all these years that you will have a great time, and I'm wishing you so well, and I hope God blesses this new season in your life. Bye. Hi, Warren. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Mostly happy for you. I'm a little sad for These are cakes. The cakes have some messages on top of them. Uh, they're well wishes to the person who's being honored tonight. And one of these cakes is a lemon crunch cake, and one is a strawberry crunch cake. I am old. Hey, Tribute, we know there's a lot of family too. And I just wanted to set the stage. Warren started working at HPMG uh, in 1988. 1988. A lot of people weren't born in this room back then. But, but I thought I'd like to set the stage so you can get a feeling of what the world was like. He started one of the first lung cancer screening programs in the state to help people you know, go through um, cancer screening and detect them early. He also served as the president of the Hawaii Thoracic Society for many years. And in fact, I think he still holds that title, last I checked. <laughs> he introduced some landmark, uh, very cutting edge technology to the department, namely EBIS. 
and bronchial thermoplasty to help people with asthma. And it was this latter technology that actually led him to being recognized as one of Hawaii's healthcare heroes, which is an incredibly important um, honor and distinction. And it was all these things that helped to recognize him regularly as one of Hawaii's best doctors. Um, I say this because I think so many of us tonight we're talking and many people don't see the work Warren. And I think it's so important to know how much he means to all of us. Uh, but it's even more important to know that he doesn't do any of this because of the accolades or the, or the recognition. He does it because that's the only way he knows how to do it. He, um, you know, it's, it's not a purpose for him. It's not a goal. It's a byproduct. All these recognitions are byproducts of Warren just being Warren. And, and for that, I think he's incredibly special. With all the teasing aside and everything, I owe you a great, great debt of gratitude. Thank you so much for all you've done for us. And um, I am a better human being after what you put me through. And I still love you through everything. Thank you, Warren. We know that you're going to be spending more time in your retirement practicing your golf game. Uh, Brent, Ali, and I got you a gift on behalf of all of us, which we are there bringing up now. Uh, it is a new set of irons. Wow. And a travel bag. Uh, that I'm sure we'll have you shooting in the 60s in no time. <laughs> uh, that is at least as long as this strict lady who you're going to be babysitting for gives you a few days off. <laughs> anyway, I could go on and on, but all of you know my dad. Uh, you don't need me to tell you how wonderful he is uh, as a family man, as a friend, and as a colleague. So uh, without further ado, congratulations, Dad. Thank you all very, very much for being here. Um, please raise your glass to an amazing pulmonologist, amazing co-worker, an amazing dad, grandfather, Warren Tamawolo. somebody or some organization in the IAF community. Uh, son Brent, his wife Sherry, <coughs> two grandsons Wyatt and Dylan. Already clearly very um, very successful in their own in their own way. Um, son Craig here from New York came in yesterday and going home tomorrow and say thank you and I to Sarah. Um, daughter uh, Allison with her husband Brett and uh, one more on the way, um, Allison, which is part of the reason I'm retiring, by the way. Um, this evening, I would say, is more than just uh, my retirement. It's really about you as well. It's uh, connections that we've developed over uh, decades. It's about the connections that you often have or found between, between yourselves, um, because we're, we're all a part of each other's stories. Let me just end with uh, thanking, thanking especially those who um, helped make this this night possible. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I want to thank our um, chief of pulmonology, Shannon. Um, 
Shannon took over a few years ago because I was working part time. It's not about time, you know, take over. And she, said, oh, she says, okay, Shannon doesn't need my help. She, she's talented, she's very smart, very capable. She, she doesn't need my help running the department. So thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you all for being here. I think that we're going to have to.